one step at a time is mapping, is continuing to collect oral histories, as well as to figure out where archaeology fits into all of those components, because all of those components together is the way the community furthers our understanding of a Lutheran heritage. It, it, it helps us to understand what heritage means to the local population, but also more specifically to descendants of the Miller's Plantation families. It's, there are, I think there are multiple benefits. I believe that the community is best equipped to engage in conversations around what heritage means to Southern Lutherans, what heritage means to me as an African American going to the island of Eleuthera. I wanted to understand the plantation. I wanted to see how I could contribute to expanding the story and the understanding of life at this complicated space because my my background and my research had focused on um, southern U.S. southern slavery and plantations and this was a very different space. This was a plantation that could not maintain the way the, the ways on the, the the methods of a plantation that existed in the Carolinas yet it was much more of a, a subsistence type of life. It, it was an absentee. There was no consistent um, plantation owner living at the property with the with with the um, with the captive Africans. There was also not a um, a association with the types of slavery that I had researched and, and investigated in other parts of the Caribbean, such as Jamaica. Uh, Trinidad and um, places like that. So the community's input was essential for me to even understand how to approach the the very basics of understanding the site dynamics. Also to understand that the reason why in Southern Eleuthera there are very uh, there are much older people and there are very young um, children, and what that means is that there's this whole group. Of, of people who have left the island and this this engagement with the community is actually bringing people back to back to as one of the homecoming celebrations was called back to the soil back home back to the space that is what some would argue that southern Eleuthera and Millers in particular is the heart and soul of Eleuthera in general um, all of the settlements in some ways are connected to Southern Eleuthera. And uh, in, our, in the homecoming celebrations, where, which we've attended for the last four or five years, they've only been around, this is, I believe, will be its fifth year, um, as opposed to many other settlements who have had homecomings for a long, long time. There was no real population to really celebrate the homecoming at Miller's or Bannerman Town. And what has happened over the last four or five years as communities have started to look towards Miller's and understand the importance of that plantation, more Lutherans that are in Nassau, in Freeport, in Grand Bahama are actually coming back home and all and so many people attend the Bannerman Town homecoming celebration. And that's been a really amazing partnership in terms of community and in terms of helping and assisting and kind of filling in some of the gaps of more details about who Ann Miller was, more details about what 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 did what what did a loyalist what are some of the, the, the major themes and, and, and beliefs that loyalists had? What were the experiences, uh, potential experiences of of slavery through or or folks who are uh, in captivity and how does material culture tell us anything about that? And so those conversations have been really fruitful, yet I understand that through technology, through the potential of using GIS, through um, creating uh, sites and geotagging them and having that be a resource for school children, for folks coming to homecoming and, and trying to put on the map where their family was. Those kinds of conversations are adding to the the, the incredibly expanding story 
of Miller's and the incredibly expanding story of life in Southern Eleuthera.